Hi, and welcome to my second tutorial. This one's going to be on opacities. Um, paint on, I'm going to be using paint.net. It's a lot easier to use, I found. So, right here's your address, www.paint.net or getpaint.net index HTML. This is a free download. Um, it works great, you'll find out. Uh, you can use uh, 3.3 or 3.5. I'm not sure which one I'm using. I think it's 3.3. So once you download that, sometimes when you try to open it, uh, it'll say that something's missing. Click OK. It's basically a patch from Microsoft, and it'll help it run a lot better. So we're going to close this and get started. OK? Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? OK, we're going to open paint.net, hopefully. Okay, we got paint.net open, and what we're going to do is, first we're going to show you how to make a window. I'm going to go to File, Open, I'm going to make a window for this here. Okay, that opened up real nice. Now, the way an opacity works is the darker it is, the lighter it will be. So the lighter it is, the darker it will be. Now, if you look, some of the stuff is black here, so I'll show you later. If you bring this in, this will actually disappear. But for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the black's clicked, come here, and we're going to make this a different color. You'll notice this is changing here, so I can go dark or light, but I'm going to go mid-range right now. Okay, then I'm going to go less so I can see it better. Next, I'm going to click on my paintbrush. That's this thing right here. And if you look right here, you'll see it too. Well, this is all going to be the same color, so we're going to make it real easy. And just click on 500. That'll give you a nice big paintbrush. And let's get, get you out of the way. And I'm just going to click on that. Okay? One color, one click. Come up here to File, Save As. Well, it's already 3, so we're just going to make it a 3-1. Click Save. And this will come up. Just click OK. And we're done with that. Now, just in case we have a problem, we're going to change the color again. Just click on More. And just slide it a little bit to what color you want. OK, let's get it out of the way. Click Done. Back down here. File. Save As. We're just going to change that number to a 2. OK. The way an opacity works is black is usually an invisible color. Now, say you wanted to have something black in an opacity. What you would do is make that black on the opacity a white. Okay, let's minimize this and let's get the preview open. Okay, I brought this panel in already. It's something I just threw together real quick. Now, you'll see here you have an opacity and a diffuse color. The diffuse color is going to be the regular picture. Okay? Always get rid of this vortex on anything you do because it will change the color of what the diffuse picture is. What you want to do is, if you notice, it's only got one side. So what we're going to do is click on two sides. Soft illuminating if you'd like. Uh, sometimes you can use blending, sometimes you don't have to. On something like this, you do. Okay, opacity, we're going to go to test. Now we're going to go to 3 1 first, and we're going to click OK, open. And if you notice, now you got a brown, uh, little gray box here. Now we're going to click on that, and we're going to go to the original picture, which is there. Then just click apply changes. And there you got that, and if you look, because you click two sides, you got that. So that came out pretty decent. Um, another thing you might want to try, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, is take the original picture and bring it in. Okay? Now I got the same picture on both. One thing you must remember is the diffuse picture and the opacity must have the same uh, dimensions. 256 by 256, 256 by 256. Click Apply. And if you look, it got a little lighter. The, all the black background is completely gone, and it brought out the highlights a whole lot nicer. Okay? Um, 
now we're going to try something else. We'll minimize these and open this back up. Now what we're going to do is here, click file, open, I'm going to click on a railing. This is something I just whipped up a little while ago. Um, if you wanted this black to show up, like I said, what you would do is make these little black bars white. Okay, you can make these black and they would disappear. But for this case, we're going to leave them alone. Okay, now sometimes you can just click on this, adjustments, click on black and white, and you'll get a picture like that. Well, I don't like that. It's not white enough. Always remember, white is solid. Okay, click on brightness, contrast. Okay, this box will show up. What I'm doing is sliding them both this way, so they're both at 100%. Click OK, and we get a box. Okay, save as. We're just going to save this as 312. Save. Hope that worked. I'll we'll find that in a minute. Okay, open the previewer back up. Now we'll go to opacity. Click on there. Uh, 312. Open. We look again. Okay, we got our black and white picture. Now we're going to go here. Click on 31. That's the original picture. Now. You can take off your blending right now because you're not going to need it. Click Apply, and you got yourself a railing. Now, granted, this is a little big, but I just whipped this up for the opacity show. Um, something else you want to remember is opacities will make some things disappear when you use blending. Uh, for instance, if your hair disappears in a room or your clothes sometimes, What's happening is the opacity of that, your hair or your clothes, is mashing with the opacity of something in that room, and the two opacities clashing will make something disappear. Okay? That's where blending is a problem sometimes. If you take blending off, uh, it'll work better, but the problem with it is, is, let's see if we can get this up here quick. Okay. There's with our blending. Now, if I took blending off, it disappears. So sometimes you do need to have the blending on to make things work. Now, luckily her hair didn't disappear or her clothes or anything. But that's all there is to it. It's real easy. Uh, try it a little bit, and you should be able to figure it out. If you have questions, please feel free to message me at IMVU, R-I-C-K-0313. Okay? Thank you.